Hey guys, welcome back to Barbie's Dream House 1962. This is Jazz Hands, and uh, today's outfit is going to be Barbie Q outfit. It's a really cute little pink outfit that uh, Barbie was supposed to wear for summer when she's inviting people over to her house for a barbecue. I finally, <laughs> I bought an almost complete set on eBay. I used to own this particular outfit, and then I got rid of it somehow. I don't know what I did, but I got another copy of it, and... Uh, I finally got the last piece, so I can finally make the video. And uh, I will need, I wanted to do it with a brunette, so the other reason was I had to wait for my busy gal reproduction to come in, so I had a brunette number one replacement. I'll get to that in a minute, though. Anyway, so starting off uh, with this, if I can get it to focus. Whatever, barbecue outfit without doll, number 962. Cotton sunback dress with chef hat and apron, barbecue cooking utensils and pot holder, summer shoes. The set, $2. So it wasn't very expensive comparatively to the other ones, but uh, it is a really cute little set. And we'll get started by putting it on. Take off her shoes. Let's angle the camera down because I always seem to not focus on showing what the whole point of my videos. We're gonna leave her gold hoop earrings on because the set did not come with earrings. So it's got a little hat. They are a little yellow from age, which is fine. I don't mind it as much, especially when the outfit's really cute. And it is, it's got a little crochet trim all around the sides. So we can put her in the outfit. And they had snaps, which is great. Higher quality than Velcro, but also more prone to come off the outfit, I think. These little pieces helped keep it in place. Cute. Classic late 50s uh, dress. Uh, this doesn't come with the dress, the floral petticoat, but I'm adding it to it because I want it to kind of puff up the dress properly for the look. Because otherwise it's kind of flat. and not really. I like the dress to kind of look puffy. So it didn't come with this outfit, but uh, we're adding it to it to give it that volume that I think that the dress should carry. Yeah, that adds to it. Came with this apron, which is also a little yellow from age. One of the reasons that I don't like this apron because it goes around too much in the back and it doesn't quite, uh, I don't know, it just seems to clamp the dress down too much, so I don't care for that as much. My cat's pawing me off camera to pet her. Hello, sweetheart. Yes. She's like, pay attention to me. I'm I'm here, and I'm not the Barbie, but I'm special. And yes, she is. She's a very special kitty. So we're going to kind of raise it up a little bit when I tie it on. So I don't want it to kind of, like I said, I don't want it to clamp down the dress. I want it to have a proper shape. That looks pretty good. Bow without getting my gloves caught in it. <laughs> Whoop, gonna have to take gloves off. Hate when I have to do that. So now I'm just tying it into a ribbon without the giant gloves that I wear keeping me from succeeding. There we go. Alright, gloves back on. For the rest of the video. She came with white summer shoes, because you know it's summer, so you're gonna brighten up a bit. Yes, hello, sweetheart. First one, and I've got replica ones so that she can fit in her stand. There's the other. Can put her up on the stand now. All right, next hardest part is probably the hat. And I usually just kind of there's two ways to do this hat, and it's one is to put the ponytail inside and kind of let it puff up and hold it open, but I don't really like that, so what I do is I just kind of push it over the ponytail and let the bottom hang out. If I can. I haven't tried it on this doll yet. It worked great on the blonde one, but, you know, this is a different doll, and maybe the hair will be too puffy to puff it up. Uh, there, it's kind of staying. <laughs> and 
And then she's got little barbecue utensils that fit in her apron, according to the picture. This one goes right here in the center. Her rolling pin, which doesn't roll or move, but you know it's a toy, it's not supposed to. Got a spatula and a spoon. The spatula was the one that I was waiting for. That was the only piece that was actually missing. I like how it has a little red handle, and it's actually like a little wood piece that's or plastic or I think it's wood that's like stuck on the side and painted. And then a spoon. And those, according to the picture, go on the side over here, not facing up because we don't want Barbie to grab the wrong end. And then we also have a knife. Uh, I thought I was missing the knife, but I actually owned one of these already. Uh, this is, you know, it, it has a dull point, and it shows, like, a sharp point in the picture, but you can't give children, like, an actual knife to play with. But, uh, I mean, this would never fly nowadays. Like, it is pretty darn close to the real thing. It's not actually sharp. It's not going to cut anything, but, I mean, it is slightly pointy still. This would never fly in a toy nowadays being given to children. But there, it is part of this outfit, so there it goes. And then we've also got a little pot holder that she holds, which is super, super cute. So we'll kind of stuff that on. There we go. And there she is. And you can see my wigs that are going to be showing up in a later video. There she is, Barbie Q. Now, the reason that I wanted to wait and do this on the replica busy gal brunette outfit is because uh recently i mean within the last few years a mint number one barbie wearing this outfit in a box sold for twenty seven thousand dollars i mean this is just kind of to you know honor that particular sale <laughs> and kind of uh show like this was an actual outfit this particular doll this particular outfit it was out in the wild, and yes, it did sell for quite a bit of money. And even recently, uh, she was worth a lot of money. But I love this outfit. This is one of my favorite outfits. I love the dress. I love all the little accessories. Accessories are so important with dolls. I've said it before, I'm pretty sure. But uh, all those little extra role-playing abilities that you have when you have a toy, and they're so cute. All the ones in this one, they're just so cute. Except for the knife. I mean, that bothers me. <laughs> that really... I mean, honestly, <laughs> giving a toy knife to a kid and made out of metal, no less. Like, that isn't just a little piece of plastic or wood that's unlikely to hurt anyone. It's like a legit piece of metal. And it's so close to a real knife <laughs> in a kid's toy. But yeah, just a really quick example and easy example of Barbie's elegance and effortless California hostess style, which was a very big, according to the Dressing Barbie book, Having uh, Barbie represent the California lifestyle was very important. And she absolutely embodies it. It's a beautiful little outfit and fun to collect if you can get everything. So yeah, this is Jazz Hands. I hope you come back for the next video and I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you next time. Bye.